Hi grade 9. Our first topic in this term is functions and relationships. We can determine the input and output value using four things. Number one is the flow diagram, the table, the formula, the fourth one will be the, the equation. Let us deal with our flow diagram. And you will recall that uh, early this year, we were dealing with the flow diagram. Let us say you are given x and you are given 2x minus 1 and here you are given y. This x is called the input and this y here is called the output. So the input is also called what the domain and the output is also called the range. This one is a formula which is called what the rule. This is the rule. So this is a flow diagram. Let us say now you are given <coughs> the rule as 2x minus 1 and you are given the domain which is the, in, uh, the input as minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 then you will be expected to determine the output it means that here you are having your x and here you are having your y so it means that the first one you will be having your 2 and your value of x now is minus 3 and minus 1 to your uh, rule so this becomes what 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 minus 1 then the answer is minus 7 and 2 into minus 2 for your input minus 1 is equals to minus 4 minus 1 that is minus 5 then you're having your 2 into minus 1 minus 1 is equals to minus 2 minus 1 which is minus 3 then you go on having your 2 into 0 now minus 1 which is your formula it is going to be 0 minus 1 then the answer is minus 1 when you are having your 2 your x as 1 now is equals to no no minus 1 is equals to 2 times 1 which is 2 minus 1 then the answer is 1 then what if you are given your 2 as the value of x now it will be 2 minus 1 is equals to 4 minus 1 which is 3 then lastly you will be having your 2 and you are having your 3 is the value of x there the minus 1 is equal to 6 minus 1 which is 5 <coughs> what does that mean it means that <coughs> when your x is minus 3 your y is minus 7 when your x is minus 2 your y is minus 5 when your x is minus 1 your y is minus 3 when your x is 0 your y is minus 1 when your x is 1, is 1. When your x is 2, your y is 3. And when your x is 3, your y is 5. Then let's go to example number 2 now. In our example number 2, let us say again you are given now your rule as 4x plus 3. This is your rule. Now what do you want? You want the value of A, B, C, D, E. How are you going to determine that there? It means that you will be having your 4, which is this 4, using the rule. Your 4 and your x is 4 again, plus 3. Then it means that your A, which is this A, your 4, instead of x you have your 4 plus 3 
then it means that you are having your 16 plus 3, which is 19. Therefore, your A is 19. That is number one. Number two, you will be having your 4 into X, and your X now is 12. And plus 3 is equals to B, the outcome. So 4 times 12 is 48 plus 3 is equals to B and that is 51 is equals to B. Therefore your B is 51. Then we go to number 3. Again you'll be having your 4 X is 22 now plus 3 is equals to C. So what is 4 times 4, uh, 22 is 88 plus 3 is equals to C. Then this is now 91 is equals to C. Then we go further now looking at number 4. In number 4, you are looking for D. So, yes. Number four, one, two, three, four. Your D here corresponds with your 95. It means that you are having your four. And your X now, it means that your input is D. That is D plus three is equal to 95. So it means that you will be having your four D is equal to 95 minus 3. You transpose in that 3 and it becomes negative that side. Then your 4 D is equal to 92. Then you divide by 4 this side, you divide by 4 that side, then your D becomes 23. Then number 5. Your E will correspond with your minus 17. It means that you are having now your 4, but instead of X, you are having your input as E is equal to none plus 3 is equal to minus 17. Then your 4E is equal to minus 17 minus 3. You transpose in positive 3 and it becomes of minus 3. That is now minus 20, which is 4e. So you divide by 4 this side, you must also divide by 4 that side because you are looking for e. And the answer becomes what? Minus 5. Happy. So you are having your input, which is called your domain, and you will be looking for your range, which is called the output but using what? The formula in this form, which is a flow diagram. All right, when you are done with everything over here, you must now do exercise. Exercise 15.1, but you just do number A to J from your textbook. <laughs> 